Hey friends, I'm here to introduce you to my best friend, Zoe, and I'm choosing to read to her today. I'm going to read the book, Guess How Much I Love You, and I'm picking this book because I love Zoe a lot. The author of this book is Sam McBratney, and all rights to this book belong to Candlewick Press. Are you ready, Zoe, for the story? She's wagging her tail, that means she's ready. <laughs> all right, little enough brown hair, who was going to bed, held on tight to big nut brown hair's very long ears. <laughs> he wanted to be sure that big nut brown hair was listening. Guess how much I love you, he said. Oh, I don't think I could guess that, said big nut brown hair. This much said little nut brown hair, stretching out his arms as wide as they could go. Big nut brown hair had even longer arms. But I love you this much, he said. Hmm, that is a lot, thought little nut brown hair. Good girl. I love you as high as I can reach, said little nut brown hair. I love you as high as I can reach, said big nut brown hair. That is very high, thought little nut brown hair. I wish I had arms like that. Then little nut brown hair had a good idea. He tumbled upside down and reached up the tree trunk with his feet. I love you all the way up to my toes, he said. And I love you all the way up to your toes, said big nut brown hair, swinging him up over his head. I love you as high as I can hop, laughed little nut brown hair, bouncing up and down. But I love you as high as I can hop, smiled big nut brown hair, and he hopped so high that his ears touched the branches above. That's good hopping, thought little nut brown hair. I wish I could hop like that. I love you all the way down the lane as far as the river, cried little nut brown hair. I love you across the river and over the hills, said big nut brown hair. So you stay with me. The story is almost done. I promise. Here are the pictures. Zoe laughs, but I'll still finish reading the story. That's very far, thought little nut brown hair. He was almost too sleepy to think anymore. Then he looked beyond the thorn bushes out into the big dark night. Nothing could be further than the sky. I love you right up to the moon, he said and closed his eyes. Oh, that's far, said big nut brown hair. That is very, very far. Big nut brown hair settled little nut brown hair into a bed of leaves. Then he leaned over and kissed him good night. Can you sit for me? Good girl. Then he lay down close by and whispered with a smile, I love you right up to the moon and back. So I chose to read to Zoe because reading to a pet is really good practice. But if you don't know how to read, which is okay, you can still read to your pet by using the illustrations. Look at the picture and use that to help you tell the story. If you don't have a pet, try a stuffed animal. Happy reading, friends.